Good morning. Big Rob here. Just a guy over 50. Um, just chilling at the house today, thinking about this Kavanaugh thing. Uh, some of you may know that <clears throat> uh, I was recently admitted to the hospital. Uh, looks like an exacerbation of congestive heart failure. Um, <clears throat> some of you who know me know that I got some blood pressure issues. Been a pretty big guy. I've been doing the doing the weightlifting for a long time. I don't do much cardio because I don't like it. But uh, anyway, over a period of about seven or eight days, I had some uh, worsening shortness of breath. In the meantime, started a new job and um, began to try uh, finishing up a bathroom renovation project here at the house and, and just a lot of stuff piling on. But the reason I'd like to make a little video and talk about health today, um, I've been engaging in some things that are not healthy and uh, one of the things that I've been doing that are not healthy, actually been a couple of things, but uh, one of the things I've been doing is getting spun up about the bullshit on uh, this, this politics and stuff. And so, um, you know, I care about what happens to this country. And it's unfortunate, I tell my lady all the time, that it's unfortunate to be awake, but also not famous. Because when you're awake uh, and you're not famous, you know that no one is listening to you. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about your message. I mean, unless you figure out some sort of fancy YouTube or Facebook way to put it out there. Uh, but nobody really cares. But I, I'm a regular guy. I'm just a dude over 50. Still working. Still a bunch of clock. But now, um, you know, I've, I've gotten some perspective, perspective over the last couple of days. And part of that perspective is this politics. Um, you know, what's right, what's wrong. Uh, how disgusted I am with... Uh, you know, what went on with uh, D Judge Kavanaugh and this Blase Ford chick, which, you know, I, I don't, a lot of people are saying that she's totally innocent and that she was outed by Feinstein. Listen, if she was totally innocent, then um, she wouldn't have sent the letter. I think she wanted this attention. I think she's the type of person that craves attention. Uh, she can't back up anything that she said. She can't back up anything that anyone has said. And the FBI report is, is, is out now and it's uh, in the hands of the Senate and everyone's saying the same thing. There's nothing here. And... Uh, we'll just move on. Well, now we're moving on to things like, uh, you know, the guy back in 1985 got pissed in a bar uh, and threw some ice. But you know what he didn't throw? He didn't throw a punch. He didn't throw a bottle. He didn't throw a chair. Um, all of which I've thrown uh, a time or two over, over a period of my life. And uh, to be honest with you, most of the time it worked out okay for me. Sometimes it didn't. But I'm not running for Supreme Court. I'm just a dude over 50. So um, at the end of the day, I look at it and I say, well, okay, he threw some ice. A uh, little Ivy League dude, he threw some ice, big deal. Um, that's probably what he thought to do, but apparently he was, might have been in the vicinity of someone who threw a bottle or something like that. I don't know. Um, so more dumb shit from uh, the Democrats. Um, but uh, about my health, you know, I, I don't care about Cory Booker. I, I know that he'll never be president. I don't care about Kamala Harris. I don't care about Grassley and some of these other liars. Uh, who, you know, are, are so old and so ridiculous at this point that uh, they barely uh, are worth watching or paying any attention to. So, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like the, these, these senators will do what they think is best for the country. Uh, on the right side and on the left side, they all do what's best for themselves. And so, anyway, back to the second couple of things. You know, I haven't uh, uh, been paying really good attention to the training. Most of the time I've uh, I've been the type of guy who likes to get to the gym at least once a day um, and uh, train a little bit of cardio, lift more weights, those kinds of things. That's all, that's all got to change. I mean, I'm looking at a long line of pills over there. I'm, I'm not the guy who takes a lot of pills and a lot of medicines for pharmacies and stuff. And so got some new blood pressure medications. Um, they give me headaches. I hate it. So things have got to be done. And one of the things... You know, that I have to realign my focus is, is start uh, maybe lifting less weight, more volume, less weight, uh, and focusing a little bit more on ramping up some cardio. I live at altitude, about 6,600 feet, I think, and I think that's also having an effect on me as well. But um, <clears throat> in light of that, you know, my kids are teenagers now. I mean, I, I feel like if I had to, you know, things happen and I had to check out whatever, uh, they'd be okay. Uh, but I'd miss them, you know, so we got to make some changes. And, and part of that is work stress. Uh, another part of that is relationship stress. And I don't mean with my lady, things are good with my lady. I mean with, you know, my kids, my ex-wife. Um, uh, those things have got to change. And so 
Um, yeah, we'll, we'll start working on that in the future. Uh, I love being a dad. I love seeing my kids. Uh, they're all going to prom. I'm going to roll down there and grab some pictures on probably Friday or Saturday night. Uh, roll down there and grab some pictures of all that. It's a nice event. But all three of my kids are actually going to a high school event at their high school. It's pretty exciting stuff. So I don't want to miss that. And um, pretty scary stuff when you're having chest pain uh, and shortness of breath such that you can't go from your couch to the living room without gasping for air. Um, and you know, you know, you transition being a medical person. I've been in it for a couple of decades now. And uh, the minute I started to, to think something was really wrong, you know, I'm thinking about things like my new job, and I'm thinking about I just got a dog, and I just got a new job, and, and, and all this different stuff. And uh, I said, you know what, fuck it. I'm going in. Um, and I go in, and my blood pressure is, you know, 235 over 160, 150, 140, 110. Uh, my heart rate's in the 120s, 130s. So um, I'm coughing and coughing and coughing, and I can't catch my breath. So basically, I'm in fulminant congestive heart failure uh, at the time and um, uh, not doing well. So as the emergency room crew began to kind of work things out, um, you know, it was decided that you know, maybe you just not treated so aggressively. Got some labs done, um, got some medications to start helping me uh, push urine out of my body. Uh, make my kidneys work, but um, um, I really didn't want to stay. They wanted me to stay, so I ended up staying one day. Um, but the 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 thing that I remember most about all of that was, um, what am I going to say to my girl? You know, what am I going to say to my kids? Um, you know, what if I'd have waited? You know, what if, what if, what if, what if? Well, I'm here to tell you, don't what if. Don't second guess yourself, guys. If you think that, you know, if your chest hurts and you're struggling to breathe and you know you've gone from being relatively athletic around the house to you know barely able to get out of bed and take a dump without being ga gasping for air or or going to the bathroom without gasping for air buddy something was wrong and um, I would uh, encourage you to think about your loved ones and think about the things that you want to do um, with your life or the balance of it uh, when you're having these symptoms because if you don't get to the hospital and things that go a different direction for you, um, you probably won't make it, you know. And I was thinking to myself, if I'd have waited another 24 hours, I might have been a goner, you know. But um, at the end of the day, uh, I went in. Uh, they did good work. Uh, I was out of there late the next day. I had a cardiac echo done. Uh, a series of labs indicate myocardial um, strain. Um, I had a troponin that was slightly elevated, but that's normal for me. Uh, kidney function looks good and liver function looks good, you know, and all that stuff looks good. It's just, you know, the CHF, congestive heart failure, got ahead of me. And so some of the signs and symptoms that uh, I was experiencing was uh, swelling in my feet and ankles above and beyond what is, you know, if you have a little bit of swelling, it's usually not a big deal, but above and beyond um, what was normal for me. Uh, Substernal chest pain that was almost, uh, it was pressure, lots of pressure. Pressure in my neck pressure in my left arm and my right arm, um, such to the point where I had difficulty moving. Um, I had considered calling an ambulance that night. I didn't. Uh, some of you know me know I spent a little bit of time in an ambulance over the years and working, um, but I didn't. I drove myself, uh, hindsight being 2020, very foolish. I should not have driven myself, but you know, that it is what it is. Uh, I got to the emergency room. I was treated really well, uh, treated quickly. Um, and they got on it, you know, what are you going to do? Um, anyway, the end result is I've got a couple more um, medications to take now. and um, A couple more medications to take now. I just had to exit call out there. Uh, a couple more medications to take now, and um, I, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. I road tested myself on some cardio today and uh, uh, did okay. Um, it used to be I could knock out 30 or 45 minutes of cardio, no problem. It's not heavy stuff. I don't run, uh, bike, treadmill, uh, some uphill walking, that kind of thing. Very low impact. Um, uh, but today was, was good. It was okay. I didn't feel like I was going to, uh, you know, pass out or any of that kind of stuff. But, um, anyway, part of this, the, the last part of this video is just, uh, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, man. I'm over 50 now and, uh. Looking forward to my kids growing up and maybe seeing a grandchild at some point in the not-so-near future, but in the near future, and uh, uh, enjoying some time with that. But um, 
I got a new puppy, new German short hair pointer, so we're going to be uh, tracking along, uh, doing some upland bird hunting probably next year, but uh, introducing him to water and the leash and, and all that kind of stuff. He's a great dog. His name is Boomer. He is uh, black with a big old star in the middle of his chest, and uh, uh, I think he's a very friendly dog, and he's going to do a good job. And so it's Big Rob. I'm just a guy over 50 having my veggie shake instead of a big old bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. And having some, I think I got a cup of Earl Grey tea over there instead of my usual four-shot Americano with cream. So uh, a lot of changes coming up. I uh, hope to see you guys soon. If you like the video, make a comment. Thanks.